What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to create vertical in-camera transition using a gimbal. So I'm using the Xeon Crane 2S with the Sony A7S III and the Sony 28mm F2. And I'm gonna have B-Boy Matias do some breakdance moves while I'll shoot with this gimbal. So what I like about the Xeon Crane S2 is that I can mount my camera vertically. It also has a locking mechanism on the side so it doesn't move around when I carry it with me. And it also has some really strong motors and you can get some really smooth shots with it. I could also use it with the focus wheel right here, but for this uh, video, I'm just gonna use the autofocus. And when doing in-camera transitions, you basically want to make it look seamless like it was taken in one shot. And we're gonna create these transitions using a uh, camera movement to uh, avoid doing a lot of post-production or using third-party plugins. And it's important when doing these in-camera transitions is to plan ahead. Really think about the transitions you want to create. And I also have written down the locations that we're going to look at. So we're not going to waste any time. So the better prepared you are, the easier it is to shoot and you will have less stress doing it. For our first transition, we're going to do a lens cover and I'm going to have Matthias walk down and do a dance move over there. And once he's done with his move, he's going to cover the lens with his hand. And in the second shot, he's gonna uncover the lens with his hand and do a move again. So let's do that. And action. Perfect. Woo! So for our second shot, uh, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna uncover the lens and we're gonna do that by having Matthias close to the lens with his shirt and then moving away. And then to transition to the third shot, we're gonna do a match cut. So you're gonna see what I mean. So this is gonna be our third shot. We're gonna start with the match cut. So I'm gonna have Matthias do his freeze like we did in the second shot. And afterwards, he's gonna do some awesome moves. And I'm then gonna do a sky transition where I tilt the camera upwards. And then in the fourth shot, I'm gonna tilt from the sky downwards. So, boom. So this is gonna be our fourth shot. I'm gonna start off with the sky transition, going from sky downwards to Matias, and then he's gonna do a, a move, a breakdance move. And after that, he's gonna swipe with his hand to the left. We're gonna do a swipe transition, and I'm actually gonna set my gimbal to sport mode so that I can swipe quickly to the left. So I'm actually recording in 4K, 25 frames per second, and the shutter speed is set to one over 50. This way I get a natural motion blur to make the transition look seamless. Go. Nice, perfect. So for our fifth shot, I'm gonna have my camera swipe in from the left to the right and Matthias is then gonna do a swipe which is a breakdance move he's gonna look at the camera and tell the audience hey come with me and he's gonna walk towards this building and then we're gonna create a match cut go okay so this is our final shot and in this shot, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna start off by having Matthias walk straight forward. After that, he's gonna do his, some of his signature moves and he's gonna do a freeze in the end. And there's actually um, an open way right there where he's then gonna walk off the frame. Because in the first shot, you remember that Matthias was uh, walking down the stairs and by letting him walk off the frame and in the first shot, letting him come into the frame, we're gonna have like this nice continuity shot. So we're gonna then create a sort of loop video where the video keeps repeating itself. So let's see how that goes and bish the bee. All 
right guys, it's a wrap for us. I'm gonna head back home and gonna edit the video together. I don't know how it's gonna look like, but so far what we have done, I think we did a really good job. Another thing I forgot to mention for the last shot, uh, I used the POV mode to actually follow his movement, which again creates an interesting shot. So before I say goodbye, I just want to let you know that uh, when doing these in-camera transitions, make sure to plan them out. So really create these transitions with meaning. Otherwise, there's really no purpose in creating these. It really should help enhance your story. So really keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank Matthias Komanyunge. Thank you, Matthias, for helping out, man. You You're did welcome. a great job. And also, George, come over here. Don't be shy. All right, don't be shy. <laughs> also, I want to thank George for helping out. So thanks again for watching. Take care and see you in the next video.